campus of Southeastern Louisiana University in Hammond. My name's Tommy Chrysan, and we've got Southland Conference basketball action for you as the Southeastern Lions take on rival Nichols State from down in Thibodeau on the bayou. Should be an excellent matchup. I'm joined in today's broadcast by former Lion basketball player, former assistant coach with the Lions, currently a professor on campus, Dwayne Donald. Dwayne, how you doing tonight? Pretty good, Tommy. Doing pretty good. Uh, looking forward to the nice ball game. Hopefully the Lions come out with a victory. We know the Lions and the Colonels, typically that's a big rivalry in all sports, men's and women's sports. But due to a scheduling situation this year in the Southland Conference, this is the only meeting of the year in men's basketball. It's here in Hammond. Nichols State has been struggling a little bit under second-year coach Ricky Blanton. But Billy Kennedy's Southeastern Lions have been playing a good brand of basketball. They're tied at the top of the Southland Conference. You're right, Tom. They've been doing an excellent job this year. Right now they're 7-3 in the conference, doing a wonderful job, tied with Northwestern. And the Lions are playing outstanding basketball. They lost the other night, but, you know, tonight's going to be a very key game along with the next three, four home games so far. So right now the Lions need to take care of business tonight, come out with a victory. Dwayne, what are some of the keys for victory tonight for the Lions? Well, I think one of the major keys tonight, Tom, is not to look ahead. You know, on Wednesday night, Northwestern is coming to town, and that could be for first place. But the Lions can't look ahead. Got to take care of business tonight against the Cornels, who are on a 13-game losing streak. So, you know, you look at it and thinking that the Lions should come out with a victory, but you shouldn't look ahead. You still got to take care of business. Lions have been tough at home this year here at the University Center. Very tough at home. And that's my second key is to also be dominant at home. Right now, the Lions are 9-0 at home. Uh, since 1984, 85, this is the best Lions have played at home. And I think they can need to continue to dominate at home and get up, get on top with the victory. With Dwayne Donald, I'm Tommy Christ saying we'll have Southland Conference action. It's the Southeastern Louisiana University Lions hosting the Nickel State Colonels right after this pause on the Lions Sports Network. Center on the campus of Southeastern Louisiana University in Hammond for a Southland Conference matchup between the homestanding Southeastern Louisiana University Lions with a record of 15 and 6 overall. 7 and 3 has them tied at the top of the Southland Conference. The Nickel State Colonels 5 and 16, 0 oh and 10 in conference play. They'd like nothing better than to pick up a conference win on the road tonight. The only meeting of the year between the rival Colonels and Lions, a scheduling quirk in the Southland Conference as we're moments away from tip-off here at the University Center. I'm joined by Dwayne Donald. My name's Tommy Christ and Dwayne, nice crowd has filed into the University Center to get ready for the Lions tonight. Big crowd, you're right, Tommy. And like I said earlier, the Lions have to be ready for a nice ball game. You know, you can throw out the record when you're playing against a rival team. So the Lions have to be ready and not look forward to win the night game, win the nice game against Northwestern and be ready for these corners. I know they're going to be ready for the Lions. Let's take a look at the starting lineups for tonight's ball game. First up for the Nichols State Colonels, who are coached by Ricky Blanton, the former LSU All-American and member of the Chicago Bulls. He'll start King and Defron at guard. Beal and Wilkins at forward. His center is Gleason in the middle for the Colonels. Again, coached by Ricky Blanton. Well, the Southeastern Lions, the lineup they've been going with for a while. Neil Berry been out for seven games now with an injury. They'll start Michael Gardner at one guard position. Amir Abdur Rahim at the other guard. Jonathan Patton, the third guard. Terry West at forward and Nate Lofton, the big guy in the middle, starts at center. The Lions are coached by Billy Kennedy in his fifth year as the head coach at Southeastern. He's assisted by Roman Banks, Steve Prome, and Mike Smith. Our officials for tonight's ball game, Clay Rand, he's the referee. Tom O'Neill and Ryan Fitzgerald will umpire it for you. Lions will be dressed in white. The Nickel State Colonels, I'm assuming they got red under those red warm-ups. They do. Dwayne, you pointed out the keys to the game was keeping playing positive, good basketball at home for the Lions. They've been dominant at home. They hadn't lost at home yet this year. So they got to use that confidence against a team, Nichols State, that has had better days and will have better days in the future. Hey, you're right, Tom. I think right, we said earlier, Nichols State's on a 13-game losing streak. I think the Lions need to really jump on them early, take away their confidence, and then maybe we can cruise to a victory. If we let them hang around, Maybe what you're going to see is that it's going to be a tight ball game, and then tight games go either way. Four Lions averaging double figures, led by Amir Abdur-Rahim with 15.6. West Lofton and Gardner are all averaging about 12 points a game, and Lofton controls the tip for the Lions. They get the ball to get things started here at the University Center. Man-to-man -man defense for Nichols State. Rahim up top. We'll go to West on the left wing. Passing game offense for the Lions. Inside pass to Terry West. He'll put it in the paint, make a move, 
Tried to throw it to Lofton, but tossed it out of bounds. That's a turnover, Colonel Basketball. Just underway. Happy Valentine's Day to one and all. Wilkins with the ball right wing, tries to get it inside. Batted away by Lofton, but he stepped on the line trying to save it. Good hustle by the big guy, Nate Lofton. You see him there, number 25, 6'10", junior from New Orleans, Louisiana. Nate's all over the floor, Tommy. He does a good job of getting after the basketball. Plays well on both ends of the floor. Depron goes inside. Now they kick it back out quickly for a three-pointer. That's no good. Rebound pulled down by Gleason. King missed that three. And they'll reset the offense. Willie Depron, a 6'1 junior from White Castle. He's got the ball up top for the Colonels. We've got to reset the shot clock. The ball did hit the iron. Had a mistake by the clock operator that time. It did hit, hit the uh, back, hit the rim. And once it hit the rim, the shot clock has to start over. They get it fixed up over there. They reset the shot clock. And the Colonels will inbound on the sideline. Depron up top. Man-to-man -to -man defense for Southeast. He'll go right side to Wilkins. Up top to King. King covered up by Patton. Good defense. Here's a steal by Michael Gardner. He's going to push it ahead. And he'll put it up. No good. Followed by Patton. We got a whistle. Fouls whistle to number 12, Keyron Gleason. And you see Gardner go up, and he fouled himself, and then Gleason fouled him. First, first personal first team foul, and Michael Gardner, the senior from Detroit, will shoot two for the Lions. Great job that time of pressure defense by Jonathan Patton. Michael Gardner got in the passing lane and, and, and got the steal and going to the free throw line to shoot two. Gardner misses the first, he'll get another. Originally went to Texas A&M before transferring to Southeastern. Gardner makes the second, and we got our first points of the night. Lions up one to nothing. Depron brings it up, kicks it out left side. Three-pointer on the way. That is no good. Ball knocked out of bounds. It'll be Lion basketball. Maurice Veal trying that shot. A 6'9 freshman from Milledgeville, Georgia, for the Colonels putting up a three. 6'9 shooting threes. That Kind of impressive. Man-to-man -man defense for Nichols State. Gardner inside to West. He'll go up. No whistle. Coach Billy Kennedy wanted a foul. Here's an inside pass to Lofton. Who lay it up and in? Assist by Gardner. Nate Lofton. Looks like the referees are going to let him play in that time. That may not be a bad idea, but Coach Kennedy wanted that foul call. Should have been a foul, quite honestly. 3-0 Lions. About 18 minutes to go first half. Glad to have you tuned in to Fox 44, WGMB in Baton Rouge. Depron penetrates, kicks it Wilkins right side. Good man-to-man -man defense by the Lions. Here's Gleason inside, makes his move. Fadeaway jumper is good. Keyron Gleason, a 6'9 freshman from Wollongong, Australia. Freshman for the Colonel team. Three to two, Southeastern on top. Pass down low, Lofton working inside, kicks it out to Gardner, three-pointer, no good. Rebound, pulled down by Depron. And the junior from White Castle is gonna take it himself, he's fouled. Michael Gardner, I tell you, Dwayne, when you reach around a guy, 99 times out of 100, that ref's gonna blow the whistle. He will, that's pretty much an easy call. As you can see, he goes around and just comes around and reaches around, the referee's the easy call for them to make, and they're gonna make it 99% of the time. So the Colonels inbound. That was the first team foul on the Lions. First person along Gardner. Wilkins to King on the left wing. Here's a pass to Depron. Uses the left hand, puts it off the glass. Nice shot by Willie Depron. Great backdoor pass, went backdoor and got an easy bucket. Lofton with the slam, the assist again to Gardner. Nate Lofton showing his presence in the middle. The big guy, 6'10", junior from New Orleans. Those two guys do a good job, Gordon and Lofton. That's a nice combination right there. They've hooked up more than once this year with an assist. Here's King wanting to penetrate. Kicks it out to Wilkins. Three-pointers, good. Jason Wilkins, a 6'6", junior from Evadale, Texas. Here's Gardner to the hoop. Count it. 
Gardner gets the roll and it's in. We're tied at seven. Pace of this game has picked up a pretty good bit here in the last minute and a half. Here's Gleason, makes a move to the hole. He goes up, no good. Rebound tapped by West and controlled by Terry West. Here's Gardner, gonna leave it for Raheem. 18 footer, no good. Rebound, Patton put it up and in. Offensive board and a bucket for Jonathan Patton. I think the Lions have a much a decisive advantage on the inside. A great job that time by John to get the offensive rebound and putting it right back up. Patton, the 6'2 junior from Picayune, Mississippi. Wilkins on the right wing. Kicks it in the corner to Gleason, who will penetrate to the paint. Offensive foul. Ooh, they called a defensive foul. Wrong ref call that one. Well, you You're right. a referee. Come on. I used to be a ref. You that was not a block. You're absolutely correct, Tim. I thought Nate did a good job. You can see he's penetrating in the basket. Nate does a good job and gets to the territory, gets to his spot, and the referee calls a blocking foul, but it really was a toy. First personal on Lofton. Second team foul on the Lions, and we've got a media timeout with 15 minutes and 34 seconds to go. First half, Southeastern 9, Nichols State 7. We're back after this pause on the Lions Sports Network. Almost half of all parents who suspect their child has a problem learning wait a year or more before getting them help. Why? When there's so much they could be achieving. Kids with learning disabilities are smart. They just learn differently. Call or visit us on the web now. With Dwayne Donald, my name's Tommy Price and Lions with a two-point lead as we get to the first media timeout. Dwayne, the first minute, minute and a half of the ball game, slow paced. It has really picked up here in the last two plus minutes as we see Billy Kennedy, the head coach of the Lions, talking to his squad. Well, it definitely has picked up the last two minutes, as you said. I think Coach Kennedy is letting his ball club know we really want to push the basketball up against this team. You know, I don't think the uh, nickel starts three freshmen and two and two juniors or something like that. So they really not uh, don't have that much depth. So I think we want to push it up and get them uh, very tied to where we can actually take advantage of them. Both teams shooting 50% here early in the ball game. Not a lot of stats to analyze. Uh, Lions have out rebounded nickels five to two so far. Each team with only one turnover, so they're taking care of the ball a little bit. And the Lions are up by two points in the paint. Southeastern eight, nickels four. Well, it, Southeast has a definite advantage on the inside. I think we need to go more inside to Nate and to Terry West to take advantage of him. Stefan Blazinski has checked in for the Colonels. He inbounds on the baseline to Depron. Swinging back around to King. Lions on top by two. King got, got away with a walk there up top. Here's Beal in the corner, cross court. 15 foot jumper, no good by Geeson. Rebound Gardner, here he comes. Michael Gardner, he's quick. Senior from Detroit, puts it inside of Lofton. Back inside of Lofton, nice steal by Geeson, but Lofton gets it back. Good hustle by Nate Lofton. We always talk about that guy, hustle. He's been a big difference in the success of the Lions basketball team this season. He plays well on both ends of the floor. Here's Raheem. Whistle and a foul. Foul is called on Sean King, the freshman from Milledgeville, Georgia. First personal, second team foul. On the Colonels is Raheem. You see him here going right, trying to get to the baseline. A little body contact. And the Lions will inbound on the baseline. Raheem gets it in the Gardner. Back to Raheem in the corner. He not afraid to shoot a three and he's very good at it when he does. Patton inside to Jonathan Walker who checked in. Walker puts it on the floor, recovers it, shot no good. Rebound pulled down by Maurice Veal for Nichols. Inside to Veal, he'll work on Walker. Kicks it back out, Depro shot is blocked by Nate Lofton. What a job and a big guy blocking a three-point attempt. <laughs> Nate Lofton. What else can we say about this guy? He does it all. He blocks shots, he dies on the floor. He plays plays offense, it. plays defense. Wow, what a player. Nate Lofton, a 6'10 junior from New Orleans, Louisiana, where he went to Rob Wayne High School. In the Mid-City area in New Orleans. 
Willie Deppard, I remember him when he was a White Castle Bulldog. He was a pretty good high school basketball player and a junior now in that Nichols team. Here's Blazinski, shot blocked and by Walker, and here come the Lions. Gardner gives it to Patton, three-pointer left side. Shot no good, Deppard with the rebound. He'll push it. Lions quickly get back on defense and set up man to man. Deprod moves in the paint, kicks it out. Pass in the corner. Geeson. Twelve on the shot clock. Geeson up top. Puts it on the floor, drives, whistle, charging foul. Call on Dominique Geeson, a 6'5 junior from Kenner, Louisiana. He charged. That was an outstanding job of man-to-man -man defense. You see, he's trying to drive the shot clock. is lining down. Amir gets in great position, takes the charge, gets the body contact. Lions basketball. Ed Gardner will walk it up. Man-to-man -man defense for Nichols State. Jonathan Walker will try a 13-foot jumper. That's no good. Rebound, Geeson picks it up, the loose ball off the floor for the Colonels. And this Nickel State basketball team is just hanging around, time is just, just hanging around, and Lions have to do something to get a little spread between them. Wazinski kicks it out to Geeson, who saved it in front of the Lion bench. Here's Depro with a nice move. Gives it up down low, shot is no good. I believe Raheem going to be whistled for the foul. No, Jonathan Walker. Big fresh sophomore from Atlanta, his first personal. Deprond made. made the penetration, gave it up. Walker gets over there and pretty good bit of body contact. And Maurice Veal will shoot two for Nichols State. Veal, a 6'9 freshman from Milledgeville, Georgia. You get a good look at Marcus Veal. Mauriceville, I'm sorry. Not a very great free throw shooter. Shoots about 65% from the free throw line. Checking in for Southeastern. Number 21, Justin Edwards, the 6'4 freshman from Detroit. And Beal will get another shot. Patton clears it to Gardner. He'll push it up. He doesn't have the numbers, so he'll bag it out. Go inside, and Nate Lofton will take it right to the hoop. He's fouled. That's a great move that time by Nate. Like I said earlier, I don't think anybody can stop him. Great pass inside here by Michael Gardner setting him up, and Nate just takes it to the basket strong. He got hacked on the arm. They're looking for a charging foul, but you can't call a charging foul when the, offense, when the defensive player slaps you on the arm. Foul was on Dominique Geeson, the junior from Kenner, Louisiana, his second personal. Fourth team foul on the Colonels, and Nate Lofton, a big left-hander, will shoot two. He makes the first. Terry Bryant, a freshman from Hattiesburg, six foot one, will check in for the Lions. In for Nickel State, Keyron Gleason returns to the lineup. He was a starter. Right, one negative thing about Nate is free throw shooting. He's only a 50% free throw shooter. He's been working on it, trying to get better. Well, he goes two for two on that trip. That'll up the old percentage by a fraction. And the Lions have a four point lead. Marquise Brown with the ball, left side to Veal. Shot on the way, no good. Rebound by Terry Bryant, who will push it to Michael Gardner. Gardner's quick, he takes it to the hoop, lays it up and in. Michael Gardner. This guy's playing outstanding basketball. Great move to the basket that time by Michael Gardner. The last couple games have been in foul trouble, so as long as he's out of foul trouble, he's been doing a great job for the line. Gardner's got an incredibly quick first couple of steps. Here's Depron, shot no good, rebound Lofton. Here comes Gardner pushing it again. Three-pointer. No good. Rebound inside by Gleason for Nichols. Not a bad shot in transition. After you make a good move to the basket, a wide open jump shot, I will take it the way he's been playing lately. Deprawn inside to Gleason. Will make a nice move. Reverse layup and in. Nice move by Keyron Gleason. 6'9 freshman from down in Australia. I tell you what, the first nine minutes of the ball game time, you know, this Nickel State team has lost 13 in a row, but they're not bad. 
Well, you pointed out in the pregame, they got beat by one point by Northwestern State the other night. The Demons of Northwestern on top, tied at first place with the Lions. So that was a good effort last time out to shoot for Nichols. And they're playing some pretty good basketball here tonight. Raheem will drive it. 12-foot jumper is no good. Rebound. Loose ball scraped up by Willie Deprard. Lions lead by four, 13 to nine. Raheem with the steal inside, fast break. Lions have the numbers. Raheem will leave it for Lofton who will lay it up and no bucket. It's a charge and call for Nate Lofton. That's his second personal. It'll wipe out the basket. I thought it was great. Ball did go in, but take it away on the offensive foul. I tell you, it was a great move that time. Uh, Amir made a good job getting the ball to Nate. I'm not, I couldn't really tell if the guy was set or not, so I really don't know about that call. Media timeout, 10 minutes and 20 seconds to go. First half, Southeastern 13, Nichols State 9. With Dwayne Donald, I'm Tommy Chrysan on the Lions Sports Network. on top about halfway through the first half here at the University Center. I want to thank the good folks at Pelican Sports TV. You can check them out at pelicansportstv.com. And for all the latest information about Southeastern, we need you to log on to our website, www.lionsports.net. Get all the latest scores, stats, stories, schedules, and more at lionsports.net. You can also buy your green and gold gear, purchase your mate merchandise, at lionsports.net, the official website of Southeastern Athletics. Well, Tommy, as far as the stats go, the team and I have kind of cooled off a little bit. Nickel State shooting 36%, the Lions shooting 35%. Uh, and you can see uh, rebounds are pretty evenly matched right now. Uh, Nickel State's just hanging around, hanging in there. Nate Lofton, big key, has two fouls right now. New point guard running the show for Nickel State is number four, Markeith Brown, a senior from Jackson, Mississippi. Lions in a man-to-man -man defense. As we're about halfway through the first half. Veal inside, baseline jumper is no good. Tapped by Bryant, controlled by Justin Edwards. Raheem will push it up on the left wing. And they'll reset the offense. That's Terry West with the ball up top. Whistle away from the ball. We've got a foul called on Amir Abdul Rahim, his first personal 15 foul on the Lions here in the first half. Coach Billy Kennedy not real happy with the officiating right now. Not happy at all. What Coach Kennedy is saying is Rahim is trying to make his cut to the basket. He's being held by the defender, trying to get the guy off him. We call off of the foul on Rahim. Lions still have the four point lead. Man to man defense for Southeastern. Up top, Jason Wilkins with for a three-pointer, count it. And the Colonels are within one. Here comes Gardner. Gardner. Fouled on the drive, no shot. That foul's whistled on number 11, Sean King, his second personal. 15 foul on the Colonels. As you see, uh, Gardner goes to the basket. Nope, he has so much speed, nobody can actually handle it. He has speed, but he actually can control his speed. Some kids are very fast. Out of control, but Mike's very in control. Raheem inbounds. Here's Raheem back to Terry Bryant. Man to man defense by Nickel State. Actually, they're in a the zone. Raheem for three, no good. It's going to be a foul on Terry West, I believe. That's correct. West is 6'6", senior from Camilla, Georgia. It's his first personal, 16 foul on the line, so Colonels will be in the bonus rest of this half. Nichols was still one foul to give before Southeastern shoots bonus. 
Under nine minutes to go, first half. Jason Wilkins with another three-point attempt. He's got two in a row from out there, and the Colonels have their first lead of the night, 15 to 13. They're doing a good job of getting that young man open, and he hit two back-to-back. -back. Got a good-looking shot. Raheem inside, shot is good. Great move that time, Amir. I thought he got fouled. What they're doing to him, they hit him on the elbow when he's shooting the basketball. The referees hadn't picked that up yet. Abdul Rahim, a 6'3 senior. His brother, an NBA star, who was recently traded from Atlanta to Portland. Sharif Abdul Rahim, who was recruited by Billy Kennedy to play basketball at Cal Berkeley a few years back. There's an inside pass, out of bounds, off depth run. That'll be Lion basketball. I think the Lions may want to bring up the tempo a little bit, maybe want to press this team. I think what Nichols is doing is kind of loving them to sleep, uh, but they're actually uh, hanging in there right now, 15 to 15. Gardner back to a pass from Raheem, broken up by Brown, but Walker picks it up, misses the shot, Beal clears the rebound. A little banging on in the paint there, but no whistle. Raheem guards Wilkins, inside pass to Gleason. Beal swing it to Brown, who'll try a three and make it. Marquise Brown, and Nichols has a three-point lead. They found their range in the three-point line. They've hit three in a row. Gardner for three, he answers. Michael Gardner, the senior from Detroit, ties it at 18. Got a travel in there. Timeout on the floor, media timeout. We're tied at 18 right here on the Lions Sports Network. When you look into your child's eyes, do you see a future? Today, there's a brighter road ahead with LA4, Louisiana's new preschool program. Children who begin school at age four do better in class, stay in school longer, and have a better chance for success. Give your child a jump start in life. Enroll now. Call the Department of Education toll free at 877-453-2721. The LA4 Pre-K Program, the road to Louisiana's future. 6.53 to go first half. We're tied at 18 here at the University Center. The Lion Cheerleaders entertaining the crowd. They always do a good job, as do the Lionettes dance team. And, of course, the Southeastern Band under the direction of L. Trent Davis. Here on Fox 44 WGMB, the Lion Sports Network with Dwayne Donald. I'm Tommy Chrysan. Tommy, I think a key stat right now. Uh, Nickel State's four from eight from the three-point line, 50%. That's right. That's what's keeping them in the ball game right now. They're shooting 46% 40, from the field. Lions are only shooting 39% and only 16% from the three-point line. On the floor for the Lions, Gardner, Bryant, Patton, Weston, Walker. Inside, West in the paint with the bucket. Good drop step that time by, by West. Got it to the basket. Easy jump shot to make. Put the Lions back on top. Zone defense for the Lions. Inside pass. Ten on the shot clock. Back out to Depron. Six on the clock. Depron makes the move, puts it up with the left hand and in. We're tied at 20. Good offense that time by Nickel State. Got an easy basket. Under six minutes to go first half. West inside, we got a whistle. I can't believe it, he called traveling. The guy's all over him, he called a travel. Traveling called on Terry West. That. He, he's all, That's he, gotta be a foul. He's gotta be a foul. He missed that one. Wilkins with another three and that's his third of the night, Jason Wilkins.
Gardner to Jonathan Walker, back to Gardner. Colonels lead by three. Twelve on a shot clock. Lions got to get something going here. Six on a shot clock. Terry Bryant. Patton with the three. No good. Rebound Brown for Nickel State. Nickel State is going to the uh, zone defense. Kind of confused the last a little bit. Going to get Amir back in the ball game. Here's Wilkins with another three. That's four for him in the first half. Timeout Southeastern as the Colonels open up their biggest lead of the night. 26 to 20 with 442 to go here in the first half. We're back after this pause on the Lions Sports Network. I'm open, I'm open. Shoot it, Cassie. Shoot it. There's a better way to have fun with history. It's okay, Amelia. Visit americaslibrary.gov. Log on, play around, learn something. On three. One. Yes! Dwayne, I tell you, somebody's going to have to get on Jason Wilkins, the 6'6 junior from Evendale, Texas, who has now hit four three-pointers in a row for the Colonels and given them their biggest lead of the night, 26 to 20, with 442 to go first half. I don't think he's missed a shot from the three-point line time. He's doing an outstanding job. Nichols got them with the six-point lead. Lions going to have to find that guy when he's out there. Somebody's got to get on and get in his face. No doubt about that. Walker on the left wing. Gardner tried to penetrate. Takes it back out. 12 on the shot clock. Whistling a foul inside against Nichols State. Number 42, Eric James whistled. His first personal. Right here, Mike is doing a good job of setting it up, trying to get inside to Terry West. And he's been pushed, as you said, by Mr. James here. Sixth team foul. So we'll go bonus rest of the game, rest of the half both ways, as both teams have six team fouls with 419 to go first half. Lions trail by six. Into the game for Southeastern, number 30, Lane Fry as Raheem hits a three. Amir Abdur Raheem. Cuts the lead in half at 26-23. I think it was a big basket that time by the Lions to get the, cut the lead down. The biggest State was on the little run right there. Inside move. Shot is up and in by James. Gardner penetrates. Lays it up and in, Michael Gardner again using his speed. Again, right as you said, right, his speed is outstanding. No one can actually uh, compete with his speed. But I think what, what, the, what Nichols is doing in the lines, they got a smaller lineup making the, the, the guards, making the falls actually go out and try to guard their, their big people. Follow Michael Gardner, his second personal. And we are in the bonus. You get a look, Gardner. I, I Looked like Depron just tripped on his own feet. I, it's tough. It's hard to call that foul. Even if Depron hit Gardner's foot, it's not really a foul. It should be a no call or a travel. Exactly. Depron makes the front end of the one and one. He'll get the bonus. Sometimes I wonder what the referee really looks at when he makes those kind of calls like that. As you said earlier, you know, is it my fault that the guy stepped on my foot? Right. Depron, a junior from White Castle, makes his second one. And we've got a media timeout with 3.24 to go in the first half. Nichols, 30, Southeastern, 25. We're back after this pause on the Lions Sports Network. Um, I'm looking for a wallet. Ah, celebrating high school graduation. <laughs> no, I dropped out. Oh, <laughs> Um, isn't it a little small? <laughs> <laughs> Go to OperationGraduation.com. Three 
3.24 to go. Nichols State with a five-point lead. What's Billy Kennedy telling his Lion basketball team, Dwayne Donald? Well, I think right now we're just telling them to make sure that they cover the three-point shooters. Nichols State's got a lot of confidence right now, leading by five points in the first half. So he's just trying to you know, be patient. They're going to have to take Nichols' best run and make sure they cover the three-point shooters. On the offensive end, uh, they're getting good shots. They're just not falling right now. As we said earlier, Nichols State's shooting a much better percentage than the Lions are right now. I hope that he's telling them not to look forward to the next game and making sure that they'll, they'll remember that they have to get this game done first before they can look forward to win tonight. Well, Nickel State has come in here with their game face on, no doubt about that, as they have uh, really played some good ball here as of late. They're shooting 57% from the field, and we talked about Jason Wilkins. You were right, Dwayne, he has not missed a shot all night. He's 5-for-5, five five, all from the three-point line. He leads the way for Nichols with 15 points. Michael Gardner leads the way for the Lions with 10 points. Five points, the Lions trail. Nichols stayed in the man-to-man -man defense. Jonathan Walker to Lane Fry, who will try to drive. He'll bag it out. Gardner, 17-foot jumper, count it. Michael Gardner just a little bit inside the three-point line. And Gardner now has 12 points on the night for Southeastern. Brown drives left side, tries to get it in the middle. Three-second call. In the lane, I think Coach Billy Kennedy helped call that one. Because it was like six seconds in the lane when they finally called it. He was all over that one. He was all over that one. So the Lions are down three. We got 2.38 to go in the half. Right here on Fox 44, WGMB, Baton Rouge. Fry on the left wing. To Gardner. Raheem. He'll take a three. Rebound Depron, he'll push it up the floor for Nichols. He has it batted away and he regains it. Good hustle by Willie Depron. Wilkins for three again, he missed one. He had hit five in a row, he finally missed one. He missed it, but it was definitely down. Gardner for a three, no good. Rebound Gleason inside for the Colonels and we're under two minutes in the first half. Southeastern trailing by three and Depron will set up the Colonel offense. Defron, turnaround jumper in the paint, no good. Lane Fry tried to get it, knocked it out of bounds. Maurice Field checks back in for Nichols, number 21, replacing Keyron Gleason. And Nichols will inbound on the baseline under their bucket. Inbounds play, Brown shot blocked by Jonathan Walker. Good elevation by Walker, and the Lions bring it up. Gardner, high off the glass and in. What a job by Michael Gardner. He's got 14 points tonight. He's feeling it tonight. He's he put a great job. He's having a good time out there laughing. Uh, he's ready to play tonight. An exciting ball player, to say the least. Lions within one. We'll move inside. Good defense by Terry West. Here's Beal. Ball's off of his own southeastern ball. And we're under a minute with 57.4 seconds to go. Terry Bryant checking back in for Southeastern. God is playing so well. He doesn't want to come out of the game. And he I did. I, I saw that look on his face. He comes out, but he some, didn't want to. It's a great move by Coach Kennedy because, you know, with less than a minute, he's got two fouls right now. He's playing such an outstanding game. You don't want to pick up an offensive charge or anything like that to get it's his third foul. Great coaching move by Coach Billy Kennedy. Fifth year as the Lion head coach. A graduate of Southeastern back in the mid to late 80s. Fry to Terry Bryant, 12 on the shot clock. Bryant spinning in the lane, 12 footer, no good. Loose ball on the floor, picked up by Walker, takes it to the hoop, put it up and in, counter, and he's fouled. Jonathan Walker. Good shot that time by Bryant, he misses the ball, a hustle for the rebound there. All of a sudden, Dallas Walker comes out of nowhere, goes strong to the hoop, gets fouled, makes the basket. 
three-point play. Basket counts. Willie Deprong committed the foul, his first personal, and Walker, his bucket put the Lions up by one. We'll see if his free throw can put him up by two. He misses it, and a rebound is cleared by James for Nichols State. Shot clock is off. 12 seconds to go. First half. Lions lead by one. Better get on Wilkins. Here's Deprog, takes it out. Veal three-pointer left side. No good. Ball tapped around by Deprog and up and in. What a job with the left hand by Willie Deprog to give the Colonels the lead at half as he tipped that ball in just ahead of the buzzer. Our halftime score, Nichols State 32, Southeastern 31 with Dwayne Donald. My name's Tommy Christ and we're back after this pause on the Lions Sports Network. Southeastern Louisiana University is moving forward. An $80 million building campaign is underway and enrollment is up with more than 15,000 students. Good things are happening in the classroom as well. The School of Business is in the top third of all business schools in the nation. And the School of Nursing was voted best in the state last year. Excellence is the norm at Southeastern. Degree programs are nationally accredited and every college at Southeastern offers an honors tract. Students also enjoy hands-on research at places like Southeastern's environmental station at Turtle Cove, while these students fine-tune their talent at Southeastern's Columbia Theater for the Performing Arts. Southeastern Louisiana University. And welcome back to the University Center where the Nichols State Colonels lead Southeastern 32 to 31 with Dwayne Donald. I'm Tommy A Couple of stats to look at. Dwayne is the Lions trail by one at halftime here against the Nichols State Colonels. One shooting percentage, Nichols State shooting slightly better, 48% to 46% for Southeastern. But Jason Wilkins, who leads the way for the Colonels, five out of six from the three-point line. Lions are going to have to be have an eye on him in the second half. No question about that, Tommy. I think the Lions we're going to have to do a better job of getting to the, the three-point shooters, and Wilkins has been five and six. One key other stat is that Nate Lawson has been perfect tonight. He's two for two from the field, two for two from the uh, free throw line. We're going to play 10 minutes, and that's going to uh, that's hurt them in the first half by not having Nate in there. Uh, the Lions are doing a good job shooting the ball, 46 percent. As we talked about earlier, in our keys, not to look ahead to next, uh, the next Wednesday ball game. And I thought the Lions came out with not as much intensity as I've seen them in the past. And I think Coach Kennedy probably addressed that at halftime that they needed to come out with more intensity in the second half because Nickel State's here to play. They really want to, they, they think they have a chance to win the ball game. The Lions did outscore the Colonels in the paint, but as you said, they're going to have to play with more intensity on both ends of the floor here in the second half. Lions down 32 to 31. We're back with the second half tip off after this pause on the Lions Sports Network. As children, we learn by playing. In time, the competition gets tougher and the lessons have greater consequences. Then one day, we find ourselves on the field of life, where the game is played for keeps and there are no timeouts. It is the mission of the Southland Conference to unite its student athletes and universities in preparation for that day. By building foundations for success with academic excellence, by teaching discipline and perseverance through athletic competition, and by fostering camaraderie and pride in traditions that will sustain our institutions for generations to come. As we ready our student athletes for real life experiences as leaders and team players on the fields of tomorrow, we take this pause to celebrate them all as one by one they prepare for the world, each with their own vision, dignity, and integrity, and the pride of being part of a great tradition, the Southland Conference. The Lions will start the same five that started the game here in the second half. Michael Gardner, Amir Abdur, Raheem, Terry West, Jonathan Patton, and Nate Lofton. Lofton has two fouls, as does Gardner. Same five starts for Nickel State. King, Gleason, Veal, Depron, and Wilkins, who throws it in, and we're underway here in the second half. From the University Center on the campus of Southeastern Louisiana University in Hammond with Dwayne Donald, I'm Tommy Chrysan. 
Second half, it is Southland Conference basketball action. Man-to-man -man defense for Southeastern in the white. Nichols stayed in red. Leeson puts it on the floor. Cut off by Lofton. Here's Wilkins in and a paint steal by Lofton to Gardner. Take Good the, hands inside by Nate Lofton. I think the first five minutes will be very important to see which, where the high line is going to stand. Beal blocks the shot by West and Depron has it for Nichols. Passes it off to King, shot no good, and Terry West will hustle up the loose ball for the Lions. 32-31, Nichols stayed on top, just underway second half. Our graphic says first half, but it is the second half. Lofton inside, shot no good, rebound Depron. Pass right side to Wilkins, inside to Veal. Veal twisting and turning, jumper in the paint, no good, rebound Patton. Up front to Gardner. Raheem for three, rebound Depron. Both teams, I'm sorry, both teams done the second half, the second half look like they're feeling each other out. Here's a nice dump off pass by Depron, and Maurice Veal flushes it to give the Colonels a three point lead. 34 to 31. Inside to Lofton. Makes his move, goes up with the left hand, he's fouled. Lofton will get a pair, that foul call to number 12, Kieran Gleason, a 6'9 freshman from Wollongong, Australia. And Nate Lofton will get a pair, he's perfect from the line tonight, two for two. Back in the first half, the 6'10 junior from New Orleans, Louisiana, Rob Wan High School. Here's a look at the left hander, Nate Lofton. He'll get two. First is nothing but the net. And Lofton has a good stroke going tonight from the strike. He's looking wonderful from the strike tonight. Lofton's second attempt bounces away, no good. And we got a substitute throw. Substitute free throw, so that miss will be null and void. Some discussion going on between the referees. He called a violation. Ricky Blend saying something to the referees. Now they're going to discuss it. All right, well, Lofton will get the substitute throw. The first one, it'll be as if it never existed. And if he makes this, he'll be perfect in four attempts tonight at the line. No good, so he missed the substitute throw, and Nickel State has the ball on a two-point lead. Willie Depron, the point guard, a 6'1", junior from White Castle. Here's a steal by Raheem. He's going to push it the other way, lay it up, and in. I'm here, I'm doing Raheem. That's the kind of intensity Coach Kennedy is looking for, and I think the Lions need to do a little more of that and try to get some, uh, get a little lead here on Nickel State. And for the first time in the second half, we're tied as we're knotted at 34. Here's another steal by Raheem, and he's fouled by Wilkins. He was going to get another layup. Wilkins grabbed his arm. That's a first personal on Wilkins, second team foul on the Colonels. As you see right here, another steal. I mean, he just grabbed his arm. Maybe good play by him to stop the uh, layup. But I think that's the best thing you need to do to a shooter, get up in his face, make him try to put it on the floor. And I think uh, Southeast has got that message at halftime. Lions are going to look for their first lead in quite a while here if they can get some points on this trip. Here's West, 16-foot jumper is no good. Rebound inside to Lofton. Lofton goes up in the paint, leaves it for Gardner. Three seconds in the lane. You don't see that call often, especially late in the season in college basketball. And we're better than halfway through, obviously. And that's twice tonight we've had a three-second call, once against Nichols and once against Southeastern. <laughs> Up top, Depron. Into the paint, 14-foot jumper by the left-hander is good. And Nichols is on top, 36-34. Gardner quickly the other way to the hoop, lay it up, no good. Partially blocked, I believe, by Depron on that drive by Gardner. Inside pass to Veal, kicks it out to King. We got a whistle. 
fouls on Jonathan Patton, his first personal. First team foul in the second half on the Lions. Nichols will inbound on the baseline. Deppin does a good job of backing his player in. He's got a little height advantage. He backs him in and just tries to fall away jump shot. Three-pointer by Blazinski is good. A 6'6 freshman from Sydney, Australia. Puts the Colonels up five. Right now, the Lions are not doing a good job getting outside to the shooters, and they're getting wide open three-point shots. West misses the three-pointer. And Nichols can get their biggest lead of the night if they can convert on this trip. Depp run inside for Veal as it's stripped away out of bounds. Colonel Ball on the baseline. Good hustle by Terry West for the Lions, a 6'6 senior from Camilla, Georgia. He wears number five. As you'll see right here, Veal trying to get something going. Raheem slapped it away and it went off of West. Inbounds to Veal. Depron. Three pointer on the way by Depron is no good. Gardner inside to West. He'll go up strong. No good. Fight for his own rebound, saved it, but it went to Depron for Nichols, and he'll push it. And he's fouled by Raheem. Second personal on Raheem. Second team foul on the Lions here in the second half. Entering the game for Nichols State, Dominique Gleason, the freshman from Kenner, Louisiana. We've got a media timeout with 15.43 to go. Second half, Nichols State led by one at half. They lead by five. We're back after this pause on the Lions Sports Network. So, which job are you applying for? There's more than one. <laughs> a couple more. <laughs> wow. High school graduate, right? Oh, no, I, uh, I dropped out. Oh, well, that kind of narrows it down. But you may be in luck. We have one opening, and it's in advertising. All right. <laughs> Go to OperationGraduation.com. Lions trail by five, Dwayne Donald. Media time out here. What's Billy Kennedy telling his basketball team? Well, one thing I know is time to pick up the intensity. Right now, the Lions look like the intensity level is not where it needs to be right now. And I think what he's also trying to tell them to do is just take their time. Look like they're rushing the shots. Uh, Terry West had a, a look like an easy look that time inside. He kind of rushed it, threw it off the backboard. So I think he's just trying to calm them down right now, trying to get them back to the floor of the basketball game. Because, you know, 50 minutes is a long way to go, and I think the Lions need to just settle down, take better shots, and, and maybe stop giving up the three-point shots so easily. Lions only shooting 12% from the field in the second half. Nichols shooting 50% here in the second half, and, and that's pretty much been the difference as Nichols led 32-31 to 31 at the half. They've outscored the Lions 7-3 to three so far in the early stages of the second half. Gardner has 14, Wilkins has 15 for Nichols. Willie Depron now with 10 points for Nichols. Colonels have the basketball. Man-to-man -man defense for the Lions. Inside the veal, he'll work on West. Turnaround jumper from the baseline, no good. Rebound Lofton. He clears it to Raheem. Raheem is fouled. Foul on Sean King, a 5'11 freshman. That's his third personal third team foul. Raheem just looked like he was going to make some kind of move to the bucket, and you'll see King just jump stop him right in the way. Here's a steal by Depron. Leaves it for Veal. Depron, 15-foot jumper is no good. Tip is up and in by Geeson. I'm an odd-looking tip, but it counts for two, and Nichols has their biggest lead of the night, seven points. Here's Lofton. Whistle, foul inside. Ball on the other end, hit the top of the backboard and went in. Like you said earlier, the Lions have to do a better job of, of on the inbound play. We threw the ball away, gave them a chance to go out and get their biggest lead in the ball game. Personal foul on Maurice Veal, his first personal, fourth team foul. Raheem will inbound on the baseline for the Lions. Lofton out to Gardner to Raheem, will try a three. Shot is no good, tipped up by Walker, no good. He gets it again, Walker puts it up and in. Good work on the offensive blast by Jonathan Walker. 
Good offensive rebound at that time by Jonathan. Three-point shot by Raheem. Jonathan was a man child on the board that time. Got the easy bucket. Good work in the paint by Walker, the 6'8 sophomore from Atlanta. Wazinski with a three. No good. Rebound Nate Lofton. Lions need a little run here, Dwayne Donald. No question about it. They definitely need a run right here to get back in the game. Walker counted. He's fouled. Jonathan Walker looks like he's ready to make a run. He's got four points in a row and a free throw coming up. You'll see Gardner take a look. Goes inside to Walker, posting up Beal. He drops his step, turns off the glass and in, and draws the foul from Beal, his second personal. And Walker can make it a three-point play and bring the Lions back to within two points. Well, I'll tell you what, when the Lions are in transition basketball, they're getting a lot of easier baskets. What they need to do is push the basketball up to get that early offense. This is Jonathan Walker just did. Walker converts the three-point play as he hits the free throw. Good work by Walker. Wayne Fry, number 30, will check in for Southeastern, replacing Michael Gardner. And the Lions, a little five-point spurt, or should I say, a Jonathan Walker five-point spurt. And they're within two here with uh, just over 14 minutes to play in the game. Geeson up top to Depron. There's a steal, batted away by Lofton, picked up by Patton, and then Defron travels with the ball. That was close, that could have almost been foul number three on Big Nate Lofton, but he traveled before Lofton hit him, you see. What happened with Lofton that time, yeah, he was he trying traveled. to push the ball up, trying to push the ball up, and hit his knee, and Lofton, but he actually did travel before Nate fouled him. So good call by the referee that it time. Was, it was a foul, but traveling occurred first, so you don't, you have to whistle that. Lions. With the ball down two. Terry Bryant into the game to Walker. Ball all over the floor, scooped up. Lane Fry will try a three. Count it! Lane Fry puts the Lions on top for the first time. Since so a couple of minutes to go in the first half. Southeastern 42, Nickel State 41. You can see that the, since Nickel State had that seven point lead, the intensity level is picked up and the Lions are playing much better basketball. Defense! 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 Gleason kicks it out to Geeson, who will hit a 17-foot jumper. Dominique Geeson, the junior from Kenner, Louisiana. Patton to Fry. Lofton, cross court to Patton, he'll try a three. Count it, Jonathan Patton hits the three. Assist, Nate Lofton, Lions up by two. Nickel State has changed their defense to a two-three matchup zone, trying to check the inside game, so the Lions have to hit those outside shots. Man-to-man defense. 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 defense for Southeast. Whoa. Often commits the foul. He came down all over the top of Dominique Geeson. That was a vicious looking oh, collision. That, good pass that time. He goes over the head fake. Nate gets off the ground and jumps right on it. That big body well, falling on you like Lofton that. Often weighs 250 yeah. or so. And he's His still knee down. came down right into the rib area of Dominique Geeson. He's still laid out, being tended to by the trainer from Nichols State. That was the third personal foul on Lofton, third team foul on the Lions. Man, I good head you. fake by Geeson. And I mean, when you get a guy 6'10", 250, lands all over you with his full body force, and we hope the young man's all right. I wouldn't want Nate to follow on me because he's no. a big guy. Well, you're a former player. You probably got fell on him once or twice. Let's just take another look at it. See the head fake there, and Lofton was committed, and ooh. All 250 pounds, and Lofton's left knee right into that rib cage area of Geeson. And I don't, and he also looks like he may have busted his nose. I believe this took a pretty good spill over there. And this crowd like needs okay. to give him a good hand, yeah. and they do. Nice sportsmanship by the Southeastern crowd here. I don't know that he can go shoot free throws, and by rule, whoever goes in the game for him will have to see he's holding his ribs. Yeah, That's right where Lofton's knee came down on his right rib cage. We hope he'll be all right. 
as Eric James checks in. Actually, it's not called a shooting foul. Yeah, I think the head fake, when he never, he never got so, the ball up. Okay, foul so stand four. corrected then, and Colonel's will inbound on the baseline. Southeastern on top by two, just over 12 minutes to go in the second half. Defense! 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 King in the corner. Inside to Gleason. Ball batted away by Patton, whistling a foul on Gleason. Gleason. That'll be his third personal on Keyron Gleason. Credit some good hustle to Jonathan Patton. Well, in line again, as we said earlier, the defense of the tens has picked up dramatically from the 15-minute mark. At the 15-minute mark, Nickel State had their largest lead. We had the media timeout. Whatever, whatever Coach whatever, Kennedy whatever. said, it, it's definitely working right now. You need line. to put that one in a bottle and use it again, huh? <laughs> definitely, definitely. Lions lead by two, 45-43. I think another key thing we have to look at too right here is that uh, Nate Lawson's is out of the ball game right now. Let's see what kind of effect it has on the line. Especially in the inside on both ends of the floor. 11 and a half minutes to go in the game. Lions hanging on to a two point lead, trying to hang on to first place in the Southland Conference. The jump shot by James, which is good from 12 feet. Eric James, a sophomore from Port Arthur, Texas. Three-pointer by Michael Gardner, count it! Nothing but the net by the senior from Detroit. He puts the Lions up three. He's having an outstanding ball game back. He's, He's had the, the last basketball. couple of good ball games. And it's just it's how, how he goes is how the line's gonna go, really. Ball knocked out of bounds, and we'll have a media timeout. 10.57 to go in the game with Dwayne Donald and I'm Tommy Christ and Southeastern on top of Nickel State, 48-45. We're back after this pause on the Lions Sports Network. The Southeastern Channel, your past, your future. Tommy, the Lions are doing a much better job of, of contesting the three-point shot. Nickel State's only shooting 33% in the second half. Michael Gardner, 18 points, uh, only a two, two, uh, two rebounds and three assists. Outstanding line score for him. Southeastern up three, Nichols with the ball. Under 11 minutes to go in the game. Line switch to zone defense here. Five on the shot clock. King throws one up, but it goes in from about 17 feet. Sean King, and it's a one point game. Inside of Terry West. Turns, puts it up and in. Boy, if West can start doing some stuff inside with Big Nate on the bench, that's going to be a big help for the Lions. This is a key stretch right here. I'm sure Coach Kennedy wants to keep, you know, buy some time for Nate right now, so it's going to be very important for John to walk and Terry West to do a good job on the inside. Lions will be in the bonus the rest of the way. That's a key. Every time Nichols fouls, they'll shoot. And here's a foul on Southeastern. Jonathan Walker, his second personal, fourth team following the Lions, so they have a couple more to give. Nichols will inbound on the baseline. Good spin move that time, and Jonathan got both hands on him. That's why the referee called that foul. Good save by Eric James for Nichols. Inside the Brown. Nichols working it around. Here's a nice job by Gardner getting in the passing lane. Play it up and in. Michael Gardner. Great steal that time. The zone defense line is playing much better zone defense. And what they have to do with the zone defense is look outside first and inside. Nichols really doesn't have any inside presence. Make sure we cover the three-point shooters. Michael did a good job that time. Got right in the passing lane. He got the steal in the bucket. Walking violation on James. And the Lions will get it with a five-point lead. And this is great, Tommy, that the Lions got that five-point lead with Nate Lawson on the bench right now. As a matter of fact, Amir is also on the bench, so the Lions reserves are doing a wonderful job. I want to mention that Dominique Geeson, number 40, is back in for Nichols. He's the guy big Nate landed on, so good to see him getting back in there. He's showing his determination as he sucks it up and plays some more basketball. So tip of the hat to that guy, Dominic Geeson, the junior from Kenner, Louisiana. Patton with a three. Here comes Depron. 15-footer off the glass is in. 
left hand or a nice bank shot. You don't always see those bank shots anymore, but Deprond did a good job there. Here's a three-pointer by West. Count it, Terry West. He, he really asserted himself since uh, Nate Lofton went out of the basketball game, inside play, outside, doing a great job for the Lions. And again, I said earlier, you know, as long as the time's going down, the line's up, it's great for Nate Lofton to be on the bench and the Lions inside players are doing well. Three-pointer by King is good. Sean King hits it. And we've got a three-point game. West will try another three. Count it! Terry West again. <laughs> I don't know what to say, really, but it, he's a sudden himself that is doing a great job. He's taking over right now. Well, you know, this Southeastern basketball team we talked about, it, the best team they've had around here in a long time. And one of the qualities of a good team is different guys can step up and give you positive minutes, whether it's points, rebounds, steals, whatever. Jonathan Walker, we saw him do that earlier when he got five straight points. Now we see Terry West hit a couple of threes in a row. That's what helps make a good basketball team. Would you agree? I would definitely agree with that. And we've seen that again with uh, Jonathan Patton's play. We've seen it with Terry West's play, Michael Gardner. When this line team is not a team of individuals, it's a team when somebody's down, not doing well, somebody else steps up and takes take the load. Lots of guys contributing in lots of ways. Here's the ball batted around. Colonels maintain possession, under eight minutes to go in the game. Here's Geeson hitting the 15 foot jumper, so I think he has shook it off the effect of Lofton falling on him as he just drained that one. Gardner gonna be whistled for the offensive foul. That's his third personal, 15 foul on Michael Gardner, and he'll be replaced by Terry Bryan. We've got another media timeout as you see Gardner put his shoulder down. Good defense by Geeson. We'll take a break. Lions on top 58-54 with Dwayne Donald. My name's Tommy Chrysler on the Lions Sports Network. to go second half right here on Fox 44 WGMB Baton Rouge the Lions Sports Network coach Billy Kennedy talking to his club here in the media timeout with a four point lead they trail by one and a half both teams have showed some spurts here in the second half what's Billy Kennedy telling the Lions Dwayne Donald right now he's starting to continue with the intensity on defense he's got some reserves in there now with Michael Gardner going out and, and Terry Bryant coming in to take, take his spots. So, you know, he's got a freshman in there playing the point guard position. He's starting to transition basketball, making sure that they get back on defense. And we just want to make sure. Here we go with the uh, charge again. And, and absolutely right, number 40 did not have position. So a tough call that time on, on Michael Gardner, which is his third person foul. He's got to come out of the basketball game. The freshman has to go in. So hopefully the freshman can pick it up where Michael Gardner, Gardner can play and, and keep this line four-point lead. Michael Gardner now with 20 points for the Lions. Terry West with 10. Interesting stat, Dwayne Donald. Jason Wilkins, five of six in the first half of the three from the three-point line, but Nichols with 15 points has not even taken a shot here in the second half. So that's credit to the Lion defense. And that's good coaching. Now he shoots. Just as I say that, he hits a three. Did I jinx the Lions, Dwayne? Well, I, I won't say that. I won't say that. <laughs> but he, I mean, good point. Well, though, but really. I mean, it took him almost 13 almost, minutes to exactly take his right. first shot here in the second half but he does bring the Colonels within one. It just goes to figure, I'd say that, and he'd pop a three. He huh? backed it down. I guess I should have stayed quiet about that. Exactly. Here's West inside, taking charge, whistle, he's fouled. Field commits the foul, his third personal. And Terry West. Now that time the, the point guard did a good job, Brian did a good job of finding an open guy. West gets great position, drop steps real hard, goes to the basket, foul on number 21. Terry West going to line shoot two. When you do that drop step, you go up strong, you're going to get fouled more times than not. 
Actually, you're going to get fouled every time, Oakland, oh because the, the defensive position, the defensive player is not accustomed to you drop step. And when you drop step and he's moving along with you, you go up. Normally, the defensive player is going to throw his hand up and he's going to just almost maul you. So it's, almost, it's a great basketball move to drop step. Terry West hits the first free throw. He'll get another. He hits that one as well. So West has been very hot here as of late. And the Lion lead is back up to three points, 60 to 57, with seven minutes to go in the game. There's Brown going to try a 17 foot jumper, and no good. Rebound, Nate Lofton, the big guy, pulls it down and gives it to Raheem, who's back in the game. Raheem, Bryant, Lofton, West, and Fry on the floor for Southeastern. Lions trying to add to a three-point lead. Lofton on the alley, you stuff it. Nice pass by Terry West. Great play that time on the Lions. Terry West high, goes to the high post. Nate shields the guy, goes up the alley loop, slam dunk line. Excellent play by West. Lofton finishing it off. Nepron spins, jumper in the lane's good. Nice soft touch by the left-hander. That guy's not bad. Oh, I, I remember him when he was in high school at White Castle. I saw him playing the top 28. Three point about West is no good. And I remember being very impressed by Willie Depron. I believe White Castle won the state championship his senior year. There's a whistle and a foul on Raheem. He's trying to stop Depron and picks up his third personal, the sixth team foul on the Lions. So no bonus yet. Leeson checks back in for Nichols and Jonathan Patton back in for Southeastern. Depron will shoot two. <laughs> Depron missed the first. I'll stand corrected. That was a one and one, not a two shot foul. Seventh team foul on the Lions. Bonus both ways for both teams for the remainder of the game. West puts it on the floor, drives in. Whistle, he's fouled. Terry West showing some good hustle. Very good. I think right now the Lions had a good game plan the last five minutes. I think the high low with Terry West, as you see, going to the basket, go ahead and getting pushed. Uh, going up for the basket right here, so you can see. Go ahead. That's a key foul on Maurice Veal for Nichols. That's his fourth personal. You're right. As, as you said earlier, him going to the basket, the high level, him and Nate Lawson is going to work very well. Again, Nickel State does not really have anybody to, to, to beat with the inside for the run. West first free throws up, and then he'll get another one. So right now, I think it's now it's time. Field goes out with that fourth. He's playing. He's moved by. Right now, he's really going to take some time off the clock. It's time, man to man defense. And try to go inside to Nate Lawson to try to get Terry West to the West, the 6'16", you're from Camilla, Georgia. Second free throw is no good. Rebound, Gleason for Nichols, and the Lions lead by four. Gleason, man-to-man -man defense for Southeast. Shot clock, Gleason will try a three, and it rattles around and goes in. And it's a one-point game. This team will not go away. They will not go away. Well, we talked about them playing Northwestern State to a one-point game the other night. Timeout, Nichols, good play by Depro. Wow, what a maneuver. To, he was going to fall out of bounds, called the timeout. And we got a break in the action with 4.45 to go. Southeastern 63, Nichols 62 with Dwayne Donald. I'm Tommy Christ, and we're back after this pause on the Lions Sports Network. Almost half of all parents who suspect their child has a problem learning wait a year or more before getting them help. Why? When there's so much they could be achieving. Kids with learning disabilities are smart. They just learn differently. 
Call or visit us on the web now. Lions leading 63-62, 4.45 to go in this game. Nichols State, as you said, Dwayne, they won't go away. They got to be playing a little confident with the close game. They lost to Northwestern State the other night. That game was down in Thibodeau, and the Demons barely got out of there with the win. And, and uh, Nichols is searching for that first conference victory. You're right, Tom. As we said in the pregame, anytime you're playing a rival game, we pretty much know where the records can really doesn't mean anything. Rivals right now, you know, Nichols State's only down by one point with over four minutes to go in the ball game. So rival games always scare me because no matter what the records are, throw them out of the window, teams are going to be ready to play. I know when you played basketball here, when I played baseball here, you always had a different little mindset when you were playing Nichols State long-time rivalry between the two universities on all the athletic competition. No question. That's why it's so hard for me to understand why we're only playing Nichols one time this year. You know, like you said earlier, the broadcast a pretty mix-up in the schedule because... Well, it's just part of the rotating right. schedule, and, and I think there's going to be a move by athletic director Frank Bergelizzi to make sure that, you know, that's our rival and closest university in the conference to us distance-wise. we got to be playing them home and home in, in all sports on a regular basis. Oh, no question. In fact, the Lady Lions scheduled a non-conference game with Nichols back in December on the road just so they could get them twice. And the Lady Lions won both of those games, including earlier today. Lions lead by one, playing tough defense. Under four and a half minutes to go in the game. Here's a steal by Lofton. And he's gonna go up and jam it. Lofton with the steal and the dunk. This is a 6'10 guy that gets out the passing lane. You know, what a great job by Nate Lofton getting in the passing lane, stealing it, having enough ability to control the basketball, bring it up the floor and slam dunk it. And you knew he was going to dunk it when he was 40 feet away from the goal. I thought it was great defense that time by Terry Bryant. Good job of, of playing good defense against uh, Jeff Lawrence. You can see right here, he's getting back down in. He jumps up with it. All ball that time. Referee blows the whistle. Depron will shoot two for the Colonels. First one is no good. Sean King will check back in for Nichols State, replacing Eric James. Crowd getting on Depron a little bit. He shot an air ball from the three-point stripe a couple of minutes ago, and they're reminding him of it. But he silences them a little bit as he gets the roll and that free throw goes in. And the Lion lead is two points. Four minutes to go in the game. Terry Bryant at the point guard gives it up to Patton. To Raheem, man-to-man -man defense for Nichols. Raheem takes it to the hoop, misses. Cleared by Brown for Nichols. Here's Depron. Head to Gleason, he's cut off. And here's a three-pointer by Wilkins, count it. Jason Wilkins has now got two three-pointers in this half, seven in the game for 21 points, and Nichols is back in the lead, 66-65. The guy got wide open again, and lines in transition basketball, they get back, was complaining about the call, and got, got the easy basket there. West on the drive, puts it in. Little contact, no whistle, and the Lions are back up one. What a Southland Conference matchup we got for you here tonight. This has been great, man. What a great basketball game against two great rivals, and it's going down to the wire. Lions on top, 67-66. Wilkins shot blocked by West. Cross-court pass, almost thrown away, 12 on the shot clock. Oh, walking in the corner by Brown, and it'll be Lion basketball, and Michael Gardner will check back in. Media timeout, 2.51 to go, Southeastern with the ball, and a one-point lead with Dwayne Donald up, Tommy Christ, and we're back after this pause on the Lions Sports Network. Inquiring minds want smart television, entertaining and educational. That's the Southeastern Channel, with documentaries like Biography of America, public affairs programs like the North Shore Gubernatorial Forum, and the Louisiana Hometown Network, insights into business and economy found in the World Business Review, and telecourses for class credit on subjects from history to sociology and health science. Inquiring minds want TV with culture, like the Classic Arts Showcase, American Cinema, 
and concerts from Southeastern's Chamber Orchestra and Wind Symphony. And if talk shows with local guests and Southeastern sporting events are thrown in as Lanyap, well, your hungry mind is all the more satisfied. Want to learn something from TV and be entertained at the same time? Feed your hungry mind. Watch the Southeastern Channel, educational TV for Southeast Louisiana. Amir Abdul Rahim got poked in the eye in that last little uh, trip down the court. We'll see if he's going to be all right. We're going to look at some of the Lion Pep Band members. Pointed out earlier, Dwayne, the Lion Pep Band under the direction of L. Trent Davis. Next fall, they will have a 180-piece band in place for football season, which should add a lot of excitement to Strawberry Stadium in Hal Mummy's second year as a Lion football coach. Oh, no question. Speaking about Hal Mummy's football team, what a great recruiting class he had. And, you know, it's based on what they did last year. Uh, with going five and seven, that many people thought they were winning very many basketball, I mean, football games. So they did a real good job getting some wins, and which helped them in, in their recruiting. Points in the paint tonight, Southeastern 30. Nichols 12, a decided advantage inside. However, the outside shooting of Nichols State, in particular, Jason Wilkins, has kept the Colonels in it. And we got a heck of a ball game with 2.51 to go. No question, Tom. As you said earlier, the outside shooting of Nichols actually have kept him in the basketball game. They're shooting 55% from the three-point line right now. Lions inbound on the far sideline. Leading by a point. Raheem back in, so getting poked in the eye didn't keep him down for too long. Inside the loft. Following Wilkins. And we can Lofton see was foul bonus situation. We can see the line strategy right here. They want to go inside, they're going to work the ball around. If they can get a wide open three, maybe they'll take it. But right now, the key is to go inside the Nate Lofton or maybe find Terry West at the, at the high post. High post area, you can see Nate gets the ball here and gets straight there and the holding call he goes to the line. Second foul on Wilkins. Bonus situation for Lofton. One and one. First one is up and in. He'll get another. Nate's free throw shooting has improved in the last month. Well, it has to, Tommy, because of the simple fact that he's such a dominant player. He's going to draw a foul, so he's got to shoot better. He's yeah. got to shoot better. Team is gonna, if he's not to shoot better, the team is going to start fouling him on purpose and put them at the line. So he has to improve that free throw shoot. Especially late in the tight game, and he hits both ends in a one and one there. And the Lions are up three with two and a half minutes to go. Brown inside, gives it up to Gleason. Shot blocked. Here he is Gardner with the ball, and he will pull it up, and the Lions will run their offense. Good time, that, good job that time by uh, Michael Gordon setting the play up. They wanted to work some clock and get inside the Nate Lofton. Under two minutes to go, Lions lead by 3-10 on the shot clock. Raheem, 15-footer, count it! Amir Ra Abdul Raheem puts the Lions up five. That's good offense that time, very good offense by the Lions. Southeastern with four timeouts left, Nichols with three, here's a shot, rebound by Lofton. Plenty of timeouts left both ways, and a minute and a half to go. The Lions will slow it up, run some offense. Five-point lead, the clock is your friend. Bucket on this trip would be huge. Here's Lofton inside, blocking foul. And that's a good call by the referee that time. You have to give the player at least one step. The Nickel State player was right under Nate Lofton, as you can see. John DePad squares up here. He's going to throw the ball inside the net. If he goes up for the ball, you see the Nickel State player, they give him a chance to come down. Very good call that time by the referee. I tell you, if Wilkins for Nichols would have been a, a foot or so back when he landed and had Lofton got his foot down and hit him, it could have been the foul on Lofton. But you called it correctly. He didn't let him come down. And Lofton will now get two shots as we're in the double bonus with 119 to go. First one is up and good. Nothing like clutch free throw shooting, Dwayne. I don't care if we're talking about mini basketball, junior high, high school, college, NBA, free throws are always important. Very important. I tell you what, the way Nate's shooting the ball right now tonight, he does not look like a 50% free throw <laughs> shooter. I mean, this guy's all net. 
Next shot by Lofton is Plank, but West gets the rebound, and they get a shot clock reset. The crowd appreciates that, and Wilkins has just committed his fourth foul. What work inside by Terry West to get that rebound on the missed free throw. Terry West has had an outstanding second half. He's done a wonderful job of playing good defense, uh, asserting himself in the second half. Michael Gordon is going around to shoot two, but Terry West has been the MVP in the second half. As you can see right here, he kicks the ball back out, smart play, lines run some clock. Gardner misses the first. Gleason checks back in for Nichols. Southeastern trying to hang on to first place in the Southland Conference. Hang on to a tie for first place, I should say. They are not in sole possession. Gardner will get another. 113 to go. Lions on top by six. Hit this free throw, seven point game, and then it's a three possession game. Missed it, rebound Depron. Colonels push it up quickly, Depron all the way, shot, was off the glass and in. Timeout, Nichols State. Willie Depron with a nice move and shot, it's a four point Lion lead, 105 to go. With Dwayne Donald, I'm Tommy Christ, and we're back after this pause on the Lions Sports Network. Southeastern Channel, your past, your future. Coach Ricky Bland, Nickel State, trying to instruct his team. Billy Kennedy instructs the Lions. Both coaches working hard down the stretch here in this tight ball game. What, like I said, I think right now the Lions really just need to hit some free throws. I think Nickel State's going to have to follow them. But I tell you what, I've been very impressed with the Nickel State basketball team. You know, they've lost 13 straight games and come here tonight, play extremely well. And this is a ball game. This is a very good ball game. Raheem will inbound, and he gives it to Gardner. Gardner is fouled by Gleason. His fourth personal. Free throws will be important. We've been talking about that. Nickel State wants to extend the game here. They want the clock stop, free throws, and fouls. They're going to use some more timeouts. They got a couple of more. They need to try to extend the game so they can get back into the thing. You're right. I think that's why I said free throws are going to be very key. But also, it's also going to be very key is Lions transition basketball. They've got to get back and get back and play good defense. What we got here? An officials meeting. I'm not sure what they're discussing right there. They're coming over here. Come and talk to us for a second. Let's see what they want here. We need a replay. If we can get a replay, a what replay you want, just, just Mr. Vision? The time. Can you go back to the times on a set camera? It's not a replay. Apparently, some discussion about what should be on the clock. That's the discussion though, over the time. The referees wants to check out what the time is. But... All right, we're going to go with 103 left. Official timer is right on the whistle, and that, the refs concur with that. No, it is correct. And we're going to get two shots by Michael Gardner. As we were saying earlier, I think the Lions, again, have to hit the free throws, but transition basketball will be very key. Because what happens is, when you're going back in transition, sometimes you leave some guys open. And, and right now, Nick State's got an outstanding three-point shooter. So we have to make sure we know where the shooters are, get back on transition defense. Gardner hits that first free throw. He'll get another. He hits them both. Good job at the line by Michael Gardner. Colonels are going to push it quickly. Here's Deprime. One minute to go. King with a three-pointer block in the corner. Pulled down by Patton. That was Raheem that blocked it. And we got a whistle and a foul. That's nice it. job by Raheem. That's the exact thing we were talking about. Getting back in transition. Defense and Lions do a great job of getting back in transition. Three-point shot is taken. Raheem makes a great block. Lions you know, back at the line. It's not often when you see a three-point shot blocked. 
I mean, you see him tip sometimes, but we saw Nate Lofton block one in the first half, and now we saw Raheem block one in the second half, and again, it's not often that a three-point shot is cleanly blocked. That's, that's attributed to, to hustle. Hustle and, and getting out on the perimeter. Getting out the perimeter and understanding that you know, they're not an inside shooting team, they're an outside shooting team. Well, so. and they need threes in the situation. Exactly. Gardner, who just hit two, will get two more. He's got that one, and he'll get another. Coach Kennedy pulls the guys out to get them back in defense for where, you know, make sure everybody knows where they need to be on defense. Michael Gardner, the only one at the free throw line. Gardner hits it again. Here comes Nichols. Lions lead by eight. Nepron spins, whistle, foul. That's not what the Lions wanted to do there. Nate Lofton's fourth personal foul. And it'll be a one and one situation for Willie Depron, the junior out of White Castle. The Lion lead is eight points, 48 and a half seconds to go. One and one, he hits the front end, he'll get another. Got some guys going at it right there. The referee's talking to Nate Lofton and the big guy from Nichols. Maybe a little too much pushing going on below. Now they're having a little conversation down underneath. Zephron does a good job hitting both free throws, and it is a six-point game with 48 seconds to go. Raheem inbounds to Gardner. He's fouled, and again, Nichols is going to foul quickly, and they'll call timeouts if they hit a made bucket. You're going to see, you're absolutely right. You're going to see them foul, make the line shoot, shoot free throws. And what the line has, lines have to do is when, when they're getting back in transition defense, making sure they don't foul when the clock's actually running. Gardner will go back to the free throw line. Michael Gardner at the line. Two shots. Double, two shots hit for Gardner, the double bonus. First one's in there, he'll get another. Seven point Lion lead. Been five for five since he missed those last two. So he's going step to the free throw line. Coach Kennedy is getting the basketball, being fouled. He's knocking him down. Senior from Detroit, Michigan. He hits another clutch free throw shooting. The Lions lead by eight. Here comes Depron, 45 seconds to go. Depron, jump shot, no good. Rebound, Lofton clears it to Gardner. Gardner clears it to Raheem. Foul by Brown with 35 seconds to go. That time, that ball went to the basket again, Tommy. Another block shot. That ball was tipped that time. The Lions are doing an outstanding job in transition defense, making sure that uh, they don't get any easy looks, making them work for it, and that time, a good block. Amir Abdul Rahim, the senior from Atlanta, at the free throw line for the Lions. First one's nothing but the net. Raheem can give the Lions a 10-point lead if he can knock this one down. He got banged up in the left eye there. You see it's half swollen shut, but he's still popping the free throws, and he hits that one as well. Doesn't matter to a shooter. He, he can have shoot free throws with his right eye. Yeah. Right? You know, most shooters can shoot it with their eyes closed. Lions lead by 10. Here's a steal by Lofton. Gardner has the ball. Shot clock is off. 23 seconds to go. Gardner ahead to West. And they'll just run some clock. Lost into Raheem. 15 seconds to go. They're going to pass the ball around. Play keep away. And the Lions are going to stay in first place in the Southland Conference. Down by one point at the half. They're going to take it to Nichols State here in the second half. 10-0 at home now for Billy Kennedy's Southeastern Lions as they win. Final score, Southeastern 80, Nichols State 70. Great second half by the Lions. Well, I don't know what Coach Kennedy told them at halftime. It was a great job. The first... A couple minutes of the second half, you saw the intensity still wasn't there. When we talked about the 15 43 mark, a video timeout, the Lions came out with intensity and really took it to the uh, corners of the second half. But I have to give them a lot of credit. They played real well. But the Lions really were a better team, and they did a great job. Southeastern now 16 and 6 on the season, 8 and 3 in the Southland Conference play, tied at the top first place. For all information on Southeastern Athletics, check out our website. 
www.lionsports.net. Dwayne Donald, it's been my pleasure to be joined by you, by you tonight in the broadcast, and we look forward to a couple of more Lion basketball games on TV in the next couple of weeks. I look forward to it. I look forward to winning tonight. First place will be on the line against Northwestern. Should be another great ball game. I want to thank Pelican Sports, PelicanSportsTV.com, Fox 44, WGMB, and Baton Rouge. On behalf of Dwayne Donald, my name's Tommy Chrysan. Have a good evening, everyone.